So currently there's a lot of work uh, going on to um, move uh, GBAS uh, to, uh, into deployment. We see uh, ground systems being deployed around the world, especially in highly congested areas in uh, Europe and in the United States. Um, and, and the community is very eager to uh, demonstrate the benefits uh, and to demonstrate all these advanced applications that are enabled by uh, satellite-based uh, GBAS. We have GBAS CAT, Category 1, CAT 1 uh, systems in operation today. Uh, the next step is what we call Category 3, uh, which uh, where the CAT 1 uh, brings you down to about 200 feet above the runway, where we have the decision height, where the pilot has to see the runway visually uh, to, to be able to land, to be allowed to land. Uh, with CAT 3, we are able to bring the aircraft down much lower onto the runway, which enables operation of aircraft in very uh, low visibility uh, conditions. Just as you need the, the ground station to broadcast corrections and integrity data to the GPS signals, you need an airborne equipment that is capable of receiving and using the data and essentially guide the aircraft on the approach and perform safety landings. Uh, this system, the GLS or the GNSS landing system, is what we are helping evolve in the CESAR. So CESAR basically is about uh, developing and implementing uh, more performing ATM uh, system across Europe. Uh, of course guaranteeing the highest degree of safety but as well um, developing a system uh, where flight can have a more efficient trajectory, uh, having more capacity as well to cope with the traffic increase that we foresee in the years coming, uh, and of course uh, being able to run this uh, performing system under all weather conditions. And this is where satellite navigation kicks in, in particular from a, a GBAS perspective. Today we had another uh, very successful day in our CESAR GBUS flight desk campaign. Our main involvement in the CESAR project is in developing the GBUS avionics receiver, the GBUS CAT 23 receiver, and flight testing it against various ground stations all over the world. Together with our CESAR partners, we are validating the GBUS CAT 23 concept, which simply means that we will be able to perform precision approaches in the lowest visibility conditions. On top of CESAR, we are also involved in GBAS research in the US and other parts of the world and we are actually very excited about being part of this.